Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. Food does not only give us nourish, satisfaction of our taste buds, or an aesthetic Instagram photo. It also builds memories, stories, and things to look back to as we go by in life. In every dish we encounter comes a story, parts of our lives that we remember through our taste buds. Picture a five-year-old boy, snuggled up on the sofa, watching Disney movies past his bedtime, then picture a father, tired from work, holding a plastic with wings and fries for snacks. The door opens and the boy runs up to his father and with gleaming eyes, they both sit and enjoy each other's company, while munching down on the food that the father bought him. Try to imagine a set of scissors on a warm summer's weekend where they go and rent a movie, go home, make their own fries, pop up the DVD, and enjoy the time they have with one another. Try to see a sneaky little girl trying to find change and coins to buy a cheap pack of fries nearby. Picture a schoolgirl out with her friends on late afternoons, enjoying their stories with a bunch of fries by their side. And a girl who tried to scan a meal at a fast food restaurant, hoping to come across her must have French fries. Or an enthusiastic student, happy to tell her father about what happened in school, holding his head as they walk to a nearby McDonald's to get some fries on a Sunday. Every food or dish has a diverse set of stories, which is why people like to turn to food for coffee, because it doesn't only give a sense of fulfilling our cravings, but it also takes us back to the times when life was simple. We could all just relax with the people we love the most, and the food that connects us all together. Amidst the stress and pressure being brought about by tons of schoolwork, fortunately, we were still able to find even a bit of time for ourselves. After finishing some of the needed tasks to fulfill, we headed straight to Plain Bistro. The restaurant's ambience gave us the wanderlust vibe, ready to see and appreciate the world's offered wonders. The servers were dressed as flight attendants, while the cashier was dressed as a pilot. And the place has a view of being inside an airplane. The various foods on the menu were derived from different countries around the world. The menu offered us three trips to USA, Korea, and one in Japan. These menu trips brought us the idea of the variety of tastes present in each country the dominant food which are found in each of those. But we decided to choose Trip to USA, which emphasized the American style of food. And as we started our journey through eating, we were being satisfied by the softness of the fries that was deep in the creamy and smooth cheese, which slowly molded in our mouth as we chew every piece of it. The crisp of salty chips reminded us of those good old days wherein we will still do not need to stress about something and just perfectly chill, enjoying the rest of our childhood. The sugary taste of chicken wings with a kick of a little spice release its juice and tenderness existing up until its very bold. And with this whole experience, it provided us a stronger foundation of believing that genuine happiness is about sharing good food with good friends. Having this kind of scrumptious meal became a big part of our friendship. We would always buy fries in every fast food or restaurant we would come in. We've created memories, good and bad. I guess it's safe to say that eating with our friends is not complete without fries that magically makes things better. We would always eat and share it to each other. The laughter, the tears of pain and joy, that we will never forget and the unbelievable moments while we were picking every french fry is every memory that will never fade happy moments with fries sad moments with fries whatever moments is that we will forever treasure and cherish <laughs>